Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So a viewer said, why don't you do a declutter and kind of show us your collection and how you're going to um, eliminate some pieces. So behind this cabinet door is some Valentine's Day. So let's get into this. And yeah, there, there really is some Ray done in there. Behind this pile of bags. You never know when you're going to need a bag. And I love keeping paper bags. The paper shopping bags are always nice. And you have to send something home with your parents or your siblings. And you never know when you need to take something back to Target. And there's another Publix bag. So this is um, pretty much my Valentine's Day pieces that were um, red. I know I have a lot of pink pieces, like I have the pink um, nail box. Um, so I have a lot of that soft pink stuff. So these are just a few pieces that are kind of taking up um, space in here. And what I actually thought this would be good for is to slide and probably what it was made for um, is to slide like cookie sheets cupcake pans that stuff um, in here so I guess I can get this stuff out kind of go through it see if there's some stuff that I can either put on Facebook marketplace or put on Poshmark um, and get this space back okay so here's the pieces that were in that cabinet um, I do have two of these hearts. I know the other one says love. It's white with the black print. This little guy here, I think I put the topper on a red mug versus the white mug he came with. And now in this light, it's almost like you can see the difference. I don't know. I did not like the white mug with the red writing because I felt like the red writing wasn't as deep as it is on the canisters. I don't know. That may have been a mistake. He might have to go. No. Um, so I have Candy Hearts, Be Mine, um, Be Mine in the Red, XOXO, Kisses, the Little Red Heart, and this little guy, the cupcake, is my favorite. And I love how I got that white stand at Home Goods to put him on. So that is definitely a keep. And Be Mine is definitely a keep. I think those two go together back there, so they'll probably stay. Oh, boy, out of this stuff, I'm not sure. I think these heart boxes, it's just like... Uh, I don't know, guys. What pieces out of this collection could you live without. I'm thinking that I have a preference as far as lids. I do like the um, the skinny lids, you know, the, the thinner ones versus these chunkier ones. So kisses could probably go. Candy hearts could probably go. The candy hearts is so cute. And then I'd have to be mine, but the heart's so cute. Oh, what if I, now that would be wrong. What if I swapped the lids, kept the one with the heart, and put this one over there? Would that even work? Let's try that out and see. But that's rude to resell something that's got a different lid than, let's see if it works. Wouldn't that be rude to sell something that had a different lid than it originally came? Oh, no, that's not even going to work. Okay. There. All right, let's see. I'm really thinking of getting rid of kisses, candy hearts, I don't know. This guy, I almost feel like, can you sell the topper by itself? This is a dilemma, guys. But at least I got a freed up space here. So let me decide on what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to sell. Um, wipe out this cabinet and move my um, pans into it. 
Okay, guys, cabinet is wiped out. No, I'm not sponsored by Clorox, but I have so many Clorox wipes now that I was hoarding them a little last year. <laughs> um, I moved the shelf up to the tip top so that way I can get the large um, cupcake pans in here. So I'm going to move those in and free up a lot of other space and have easier access to them. Okay, so here's what we have so far. Perfect fit since I moved up that top shelf. And I just like the access. It's going to be a lot easier than having them underneath my other cupboard or in the bottom of the stove, you know, in the warming, in the warming pan or whatever that drawer is, the warming drawer. I had the big um, cupcake one stored. So this is perfect, a lot easier to get to. And as far as Ray Dunn, I think I'm definitely going to list these three pieces on my Poshmark. So check out my Poshmark if you're interested in that. I think I'm going to keep um, these over here, which so I didn't really get rid of many. I was on the fence about the XOXO canister, but I felt like it kind of goes with the Be Mine. But I also don't like the chunky tops as much as the skinnier tops. Um, so I don't know, and I found a couple ornaments in the actual Be Mine. But these three pieces are definitely going up on my Poshmark, and I'll find a new home for these guys, and now I have access to that cabinet. Stay tuned for more decluttering videos as we go through other seasons of Ray Dunn. Thanks, guys!